All right, here's uh, my M5. Excuse the uh, loud noise, uh, we're next to a freeway. It's in pretty uh, good condition uh, for being used in higher mileage. Uh, I bought it at 150K. They removed the uh, quad exhaust, so just dual aftermarket exhaust. Not too bad. It's a little dirty out here, but uh, so far not too many bad scratches. You know, nothing that a buffer won't take out. Alright, let's go on the inside. Take a look at the back. Back's pretty uh, simple, same, small as always. Uh, leather. Three seat belts. This is a cool little feature. Headrest. Opens up cup holders. Other than that, it's, it's a back seat. <laughs> oh yeah, one thing I did forget. Um, little shade. Screens. Same thing for this. I don't the back have it. Power seats. Sunroof. This one is a two thousand six. M5 steering wheel, no tears, but it is getting a little worn out on top. Not too bad though. Paddle shifters, push start, climate control is pretty much the same as all 5 series. center console um, navigation doesn't work DVD player this one is for parking sensors had some seat I forget the name of this it's for the seats, uh, the sides uh, lift up and down. They actually adjust to your size in, uh, in sport mode. It, um, it lifts up uh, as you're turning more for like a lumbar, lumbar support. Uh, tire pressure monitor. Uh, heated seats, I don't have the uh, cooled seats. I know some other models have it. Cup holders, a little different, but I'm getting used to them. Summer. All right.
too much uh, too much work to put in, you know. I mean, but if it's the only thing you have, then obviously it's going to be be something good for you. But I'd rather use my phone a lot quicker for me personally. Entertainment FM. Uh, this model didn't have the aux cord on it. Um, I had to program it in there, install the Bluetooth uh, behind here aftermarket. I think it was for about 20 bucks on eBay. So yeah, um, also coded the um, miles per hour. below if there's any videos you guys had in mind.